In this video, I will discuss about polarization method of binocular refraction. Before starting, we need to know about what is polarization. Light is an electromagnetic wave which vibrates in multiple planes when passed through a medium. This is called unpolarized light. The process of transforming unpolarized light into polarized light is called polarization. In polarized light waves, light vibrates in single plane. Here in this figure, this is unpolarized light in which the light vibrates in multiple plane and this is polarized light after passing through the polarizer which vibrates in single plane. Now let's study about what is polarized chart and polarized letter. Polarized chart is a chart in which polarized letter are used in normal background and polarized letters are letters which reflected their light rays in only one direction. If we use an analyzer perpendicular to the polarized letter, it block all the light rays from polarized letter and black symbol in white background is seen by the patient. Now let's study about polarization method of binocular subjective refraction. In polarization method of subjective binocular refraction, polarized letters are used in normal background. An analyzer is used in front of eye which allow right eye to view right half of the chart but block left half and allow left eye to view left half of the chart but block right half of the chart from view. Example 1. Polarized letters and polarizing filters 2. Back to graphic slides for projection Now let's study about polarized targets and polarizing filter. It's a simplified binocular subjective refraction. Proper positioning of septum is not necessary. Distance equity chart divided into two halves, each covered by polarizing films. Now let's study about principle. While examining right eye, let's see what happened in right portion of the chart. Analyzer before right eye perpendicular to polarization angle of letter. Light from the letter in right half totally block, but 50% of light from the white background is transmitted. As a result, black symbol in white background is produced. Here in this figure, this is analyzer before right eye, which is perpendicular to this polarized letter F. As analyzer of right eye is perpendicular to polarized letter, so it block all the light coming from the letter F but 50% light rays from background pass through the analyzer thus an image of black symbol F in white background is formed in the retina of right eye. Now let's see what happened in left portion of the chart. Analyzer before right eye parallel to polarization angle of letter 50% light from the letter in left half transmitted and 50% light from the background also transmitted. As a result, white blank field is produced. Here in this figure, this is the analyzer before right eye which is parallel to polarization angle of letter L. As analyzer is parallel to polarized letter, so 50% light from the letter and 50% light from the background pass through the analyzer and both light rays intersect each other. Thus, an image of white blank field is formed in the retina of right eye. Now let's study about the procedure. Patient sit comfortably and directed towards the chart. Analyzer plays before starting point. Now best vision sphere. It start with retinoscopic findings that is starting point and determination made until approximately 6, six letters are clear. Then Jackson cross cylinder to determine presence, amount and orientation of astigmatism. Then fogging. Blur or fog the characters to approximate 612 level by adding 0.75 or 1 diopter spherical. From this point power is decreased in 0.25 steps until best or maximum visual acuity is obtained. In point may be monitored by red green balance which is dichrome test to avoid over minusing. Same procedure repeated for left eye. 
in the next video i will discuss about fogging method of binocular diffraction stay with smart optometry